What's going on guys, Dwayne here with My Investment Journey and I am back again. In this video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about the nine dividend payments that I got in the month of December and those nine dividend payments actually added up to $584.86. That was in the month of December. So of course, in the month of January, 2023, my dividend payment's gonna be a little bit more. So it goes back and forth where one month is more and the next month is less obviously because I'm getting dividend payment from different companies that pay me monthly as well as companies that pay me quarterly. But once again, in this video, we're going to be talking about the nine dividend payments that I got in the month of December, and I'm going to show you. And so that's what we're talking about in this particular video. But hey, if you're new to the channel, once again, my name is Dwayne with My Investment Journey. And on this channel, I talk about how to start investing in the stock market and I show you my investment journey. So be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Okay, so I'm going to pull up right now on the screen. You guys will be seeing my portfolio on Robinhood. So my stock portfolio right now is valued at $123,000. And as you can see, today is the first day of trading in 2023. Today is January 3rd, 2023. I'll show you guys that at the bottom of the screen on the computer. And as you can see, my portfolio is down $13,000. Now, that's just today. Unfortunately, overall, my portfolio is down over a hundred and thirty something thousand dollars because I have invested two hundred and sixty thousand dollars in the stock market since May of 2020. Just to give you guys a brief snapshot of what's going on in my portfolio. This is my all time. I clicked on all on my portfolio here on the screen with Robin Hood. And as you can see, I'm down one hundred and forty thousand dollars. I have invested, like I said, since May of 2020. $260,000. So of course, right now I'm down over $140,000 just to kind of keep it transparent and let you guys know what's going on. Now, of course, that never feels good. Uh, you know, I might be freaking out a little bit, but the thing about it is the stock market's going to do what it always does, which is recover and continue to go up. The overall trajectory is upwards in the regards to the stock market. OK, so I'm going to short share with you guys the eight dividend payments that I got in the month of December. So as you guys can see here on the screen, it has uh, at the very bottom, it has November the 30th, which we're not concerned with. So we have December the 9th. Got a dividend payment from ExxonMobil for $102.20. December the 9th, I got another dividend payment from AGNC Investment for $42.56. December the 15th, I got a dividend payment from Stag Industrial for $28.26. December the 20th, I got a dividend payment from Prospect Capital, $98.33. December the 20th, again, I got another dividend payment from Vanguard Information Technology ETF, ticker symbol VGT, $66.55. Another Vanguard dividend payment on December the 22nd from their uh, high yield dividend um, ETF, ticker symbol VYM, for $11.67. December the 28th, I got a dividend payment from Armour Residential REIT for $129.38. And then again on December the 28th, I got another, another dividend from Vanguard Growth ETF, ticker symbol VUG, for $26.94. Then on December the 30th, I got my last dividend payment in the month of December uh, for $78.97 from Gladstone Capital. So if you add all that up, that is going to equal um, $584 and some cents and 86 cents. I'll show you guys here real quickly. All right, so let's clear this on the calculator here. So we have the very first dividend payment here for $102. $102.20. So $102.20 uh, plus. 42.56 plus uh, 28.26 plus 98.33 plus 66.55 plus 11 dollars and 67 cents plus you got to forgive me guys because I'm slow uh, 129 and 38 cents plus 26 and 94 cents plus 78 and 97 cents plus that's it so that's nine dividend payments totaling 584 dollars and 86 cents um, i like to do that just to kind of show you guys and of course um i actually got uh the dividend payments that i had 
was reinvested automatically on Robinhood because I have DRIP turned on, which stands for Dividend Reinvestment Plan on Robinhood. So what happens when that happens, Robinhood takes my dividend payment that I have. The balance is normally reflected in my available amount of money or buying power um, on Robinhood. But because I have dividend reinvesting turned on, not dividend reinvesting, because I have margin investing turned on, my buying power is ridiculous. It says $61,000, but that's not accurate. That's because I have margin investing turned on. So when I get those dividend payments, Robinhood goes ahead and grabs some more shares which means that the next time I get a dividend payment from that same company, it's going to be a little bit more because now I have a little more share, right? So the first one is Exxon Mobil. As you guys can see here, my Exxon is trading today right now. Uh, it's live for $107.36. Uh, my average cost per share is $46.44. Let me go ahead and scroll down and show you guys my dividend payment here that I got with Exxon. So as you guys can see, well, I bought some more shares. Obviously, you guys can see that. Let me click on more uh, and let me click on dividends just so we can clean it up and make it very easy. So you can see uh, I got the dividend on December the 9th, 2022. And at that particular time, um, Robin Hood went ahead and grabbed some more shares for me. Um, let me see. Give me a second here. OK, because it's showing that it was reinvested. Right. OK, so the dividend, the payment was one hundred and two dollars and twenty cents at that particular time. Uh, Exxon is paying ninety one cents per share. I had one hundred and twelve shares. So once again, they went ahead and grabbed some more uh, shares for me. Let me click on all and see what happens here. No, just kidding. Um, I want to show you guys that it was reinvested. OK, so as you can see here, the dividend was for one hundred and two dollars, one hundred and two dollars and twenty cents. And then on December the 9th, Robin Hood went ahead and grabbed point nine six worth of shares from Exxon. And at the time it was trading for one hundred and five dollars and fifty three cents. Keep in mind, it's trading right now for one hundred and seven dollars and some change, which is pretty cool. Uh, that I got it a little, you know, cheaper than it, it's trading for right now. OK, so once again, I'll show you guys it's trading for one hundred and seven dollars and thirty three cents. The next one up is um, and a G and C investment. My overall cost per share is thirteen dollars and thirty nine cents. As you can see there, I'm going to scroll down and show you guys the most recent dividend payment that I got right here on December the 9th for forty two dollars and fifty six cents. At that particular time, AGNC is paying 12 cents per share, as you can see here. And then Robinhood went ahead and grabbed 4.3 shares. And at that time, it cost $9.88 per share. And so right now, AGNC investment is trading for $10.50. The next one up is Stag Industrial. Uh, by the way, Exxon pays dividends quarterly, AGNC pays dividends monthly. Stag Industrial pays dividends uh, monthly. My average cost per share, thirty nine dollars and ninety eight cents. Right now, Stag is trading for thirty two dollars. I'm going to scroll down and show you guys my most recent dividend payment here. As you guys can see, on December the 15th, I got a dividend payment for twenty eight dollars and twenty six cents. At the time, Stag is paying twelve cents per share. And then right above that, you can see where Robinhood went ahead and grabbed point eight seven shares. Um, at the time, it was trading for uh, $32.14. Now, that's pretty cool because right now, Stag is trading for $32.29. The next one up is Prospect Capital. This does pay dividends monthly as well. My average cost per share is $7.26. If I scroll down here and show you my most recent dividend payment, December the 20th for $98.33. At that particular time, uh, they're paying six cents per share. I owned 1,638 shares. I got a dividend payment for $98.33. Right above that, you can see where Robinhood went ahead and grabbed 13.67 shares. At the time, it was for $7.19. Right now, Stag is trading for, not Stag, Prospect Capital is trading for $7.03. The next one up is Vanguard Information Technology ETF. This particular ETF has 375 different companies in it. My average cost per share, $409.42. Right now, this ETF is $315 uh, is what it costs per share. OK, so let me scroll down and show you guys. This one does pay quarterly. So as you can see, on December the 20th, I got a dividend payment for $66.55. At the time, they're paying 87 cents per share. 
And also on December the 20th, Robinhood went ahead and grabbed 0 0.20 worth of shares. At that particular time, it was for $326.14, which right now VGT is trading for $315.17. The next one up is another Vanguard ETF. This is the high dividend yield ETF. This particular ETF is comprised of 445 different companies. My average cost per share is $90.90. Right now, it's trading for $107.66. So if I scroll down, I can show you guys my most recent dividend payment on December 22nd was for $11.67. And then, of course, Robinhood went ahead and grabbed some more shares on December the 22nd. At that particular time, they were able to grab 0 .10 uh, worth of shares. It was trading for $108 at that time. Right now, it's trading for $107.66. We only have three more to go. The next one up is Almore Residential REIT. This one pays monthly. As you can see, my average cost per share, $10.40. Right now, Almore Residential is trading for $5.78. My most recent dividend payment was for $128. At the time, Almore Residential is paying $0.10 cents per share. I had 1,293 1 shares. Uh, right above that, you can see where Robinhood went ahead and grabbed 22.5 shares, and at the time it was trading for $5.73. Right now it's trading for $5.78. Okay. The next one up is Vanguard Growth ETF, ticker symbol VUG. This does pay dividends quarterly. My average cost per share, $283.21. It's trading currently for $210.29. This particular ETF has 250 different companies in it. If I scroll down here, I can show you guys my most recent dividend payment on December the 28th was for $26.94. And they're paying $0.44 cents per share at the time. Um, on the 28th of December as well, Robinhood went ahead and grabbed 0.12 shares. At the time, it was trading for $212.94 which once again, right now, VUG is trading for $210.12. And the last one up is Gladstone Capital, which does pay dividends monthly. My average cost per share with Gladstone is $10.79. Right now, you can see it's trading for $9.76. I'm going to scroll down here and show you guys my most dis recent dividend payment, $78.97. At that particular time, they're paying seven cents per share. I had 1,128 shares. Robinhood went ahead and grabbed some more shares, which was 8.16 share. And at the time, it was trading for $9.67. Right now, it's trading for $9.76. Okay. And those were the dividend payments in the month of December 2022. As you can see, since I started the video and showed you guys my portfolio, I think when I started, I was down 13,000. I am now down $15,000 and that is live. This is today, January 3rd in the stock market, the first day of trading in 2023. That's gonna be pretty much it for this video. If you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. It helps push this video and this channel out to more viewers so that people can learn more about the stock market and as well how they can make money. There's so many different ways to skin the financial cat when it comes to the stock market. All right. Once again, my name is Dwayne with My Investment Journey, and I approve this video. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, take care and be blessed. Peace. Thank you.